Today we're going to be tying the Easy Body Sand Heel. A very simple, effective pattern, great for stripers in the surf as well as on sandy beaches, Cape Cod, anywhere there's small sand heel limitations. Some of the materials we're going to be using are Easy Body. It's a woven tubing. We're going to be using the small size. We'll also be using a saddle hackle. This is a Metz Magnum hackle. We'll also be using some craft fur in white and an olive. Some crystal flash in pearl. And our hook will be the Mustad 34007 number two. And the finish to fly will be number two prismatic eyes little sticker eyes that are real easy to work with. A cement, we'll be using soft hex. A great durable soft drying cement which uh, is easy to work with, spreads easy, and uh, doesn't really require a drying wheel because it's self leveling. We'll be using an olive magic marker to color the top of the fly. And our tools will basically be a pair of scissors and that's pretty much it. Let's get let's get going. We'll we'll get working on this fly, and we'll show you how it's done. Okay, we're going to start the fly by tying onto the hook. I'm incidentally I'm using some mono thread. I like mono because it's real strong, and uh, it really blends well with the Easy Body being a monofilament based tubing. The first item that we're going to select for the first material is the uh, white craft fur, and I'm going to just trim out. A short little bunch, and then I'm going to take in the butt section here and take out that extra fuzz. It just creates too much bulk. Now the sand deal that I'm trying to achieve here is going to be roughly two to two and a half inches long. So when I tie in the belly section or the white craft fur, I'm going to try to estimate from the tip of the hook eye to the tail where our two to two and a half inches is going to end up. Secure that on right, roughly right at mid shank because when we put our tubing on the, the craft fur is going to create some bulk and come out of the tubing nicely. If we go too far to the tail it's going to be too thin and you're going to have a head that's big and a very thin tail section and we don't want that we want to try to get a nice flowing body shape so now we have that tied on and we'll come in and we'll just trim off the excess now we're going to get the pearl crystal flash and we're just going to take a couple strands we don't need a lot just a little bit two or three strands is more than enough and I'm going to fold them over and just lay them right on top of that craft fur and secure that down. Bring up our waist, trim that off. Now we're going to get some olive craft fur. In the olive I like to tie it on slightly longer than the white to create a nice silhouette. Again we're going to strip out that bulky under fur and lay it right on top and you can see the nice sand eel shape starting to form. Again we're at mid shank we're going to secure this down, pull up our waist, trim out our waist. You can see at this point when we put our easy body on it's going to come roughly to the hook bend and that is where this nice craft fur uh, wing is going to actually cover up the entire rear of the fly and blend nicely with the head section. So at this point we're almost ready to put on our easy body. I'm just going to bring my thread up towards the front of the fly and I'm going to do a hand whip finish here. I don't know how to use the Mattarelli tool, sorry. Uh, and we're going to tie that off. Okay. Now we're going to get our small natural easy body and I'm just going to 
hold it up to the hook and roughly judge where the rear of the hook eye is and you can see I'm right at the start of the bend of the hook and right at the hook eye and that's right where we want to cut it now when you're cutting the tubing what you want to do is cut it towards the fatter part of your scissors you don't want to cut it towards the tips because eventually uh, your, your tips will get ruined, they'll get uh, a little dull and you've got to remember we are cutting a plastic type product, a polyester type product and you really don't want to use the points of your scissors for this. So let's, uh, I just moved it so we'll recheck our proportion here and we'll snip that right there. Now we're just going to slide that onto the hook. Very simple. And you can see we've already got a nice sand deal shape starting to happen. Now what we need to do at this point is slide our tubing a little bit further back and restart our thread on the hook. Trim off our tag end, slide the tubing back up right behind the eye and do a pinch, two pinches, three pinches. And make sure that that thread is right where you want it. And now we can secure the front of the fly. And we're just about done. We'll do our hand whip here. If you have a Mattarelli, be my guest. As I said, I can't use one. Okay. Now we're going to get our olive marker. This one happens to be a Pantone marker. You can use Sharpies. You can use highlighters, you can use uh, any type of permanent marker. It's the color that is more important than anything. Now what we're going to do is just, because we have the olive on the top of the fly, we're just going to take the magic marker and just color the top of the fly. And that's it. Okay. Now remember, we're on a Mustad 34007 number 2. We're using the small easy body, which means that we, we do need a small eye. And the prismatics are sized with, with a numbering system, and basically it's the millimeters. On this particular fly, we're going to use a number two. So I take my podkin and just come right onto the mylar sheet and pick off one of the eyes. Sometimes they're a little tricky. Put it right on the fly and put one on the opposite side as well. Okay. Now we're ready to put our cement on here and the fly is just about done. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be using soft hex. And because this is actually more of a finish coat on this fly, we're going to use the thinner soft hex in the, in the bottom of the jar not the thicker stuff that develops around the walls. That's, that has other applications. We'll get into that a little bit later on another pattern. And just apply our cement over the eyes. And that'll all self-level, sink in nicely, and be extremely durable. And pretty much that's it. Here's your easy sand deal. Go fish them. Shoot me an email, let me know how you make out. You can always email us through easybody.com on our website. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll learn a little something today and uh, go fishing. Thanks.